Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Now I'm doing this video standing up. I've got my camera as high as I can get it. I can't get it any higher. So you'll have to excuse the junk that you can see around just now. Now I've taken the sticky labels off this and I've got Muttley um, is really like right at my feet. And excuse my voice as well, I've had a bit of a cold and I've been doing um, I've been doing COVID tests and they're all negative but it's really like all the symptoms. I think there is a really bad virus going around. Now when this got delivered I wasn't in and I did make sure I was COVID free before I went out. So my neighbour took this in. So by the time it uploads, I don't know who it's from, there was no name on it, there was only my name on it. I've taken all the sticky um, stuff off and Muttley's hanging around and he was sniffing in the the holes here so that <laughs> there may be a treat in here for him, I'm not sure. I hope there is <laughs> because he's just been, he's just, he won't leave me alone. So I've taken all the sticky stuff as I said and um, I'm going to open this up. Now I don't know who it's from because there wasn't any any name or anything on the box. Now, um, let's have a look then, shall we? <laughs> a surprise! I haven't had Happy Meal for a long time. And there we go. Oh, look at that. I'm going to put that lid there so Muttley doesn't play with it. A little bag of treats. Oh, there's a bit goodie bag. Oh my goodness. There's things for Muttley. There'll be a letter in here or something. Oh, look at that, it's crochet hooks. Or there's originals. There's some sweeties for me. It's going to break my diet. <laughs> and there is some treats for Muttley. Look at this. I'll find, there'll probably be a note in here somewhere. If there's not, then you need to let me know who it is. Now, I haven't... Usually it's either Barbara or it's Glynis. There's Wagtastic Chewy Chicken Rice Sticks. That's good for Muttley. And a little toy. Look at that. Do you know something? I'm not going to give that to Muttley. I'm going to pin that up on my wall. He'll just rip that to pieces. <laughs> that is so cute. Look at that. A little Scotty Terrier. I'm going to pin that up my wall. I'm going to keep that and pin it on the wall. I don't want Muttley to rip all that up. Now, I'm going to give him a treat to get him out of my way because he's practically climbing up my leg. There you go. A nice surprise for you. It's a nice surprise. There you go. So there we go. That'll get ready, Muttley, from stealing, trying to, well, not stealing, trying to get all the bags and things. So I'm going to pop that there. Now, I've been working hard. I mean, even though I haven't been feeling very well, I've been doing a lot of projects. I'm going to swing that at me. Look at all my bundle of projects over there. I've got a big bundle of projects. So we're going to pull this over. Oh, there's a bag of stuff in there. Look at that. Now, we'll just go through this and hopefully I'll find a note. And if not, you can let me know who it was that sent this. There is Hobby Time Sparkle. Now, the light may change a little bit because it is absolutely pouring with rain. It really is. It's pouring with rain. And then it stops and the sun comes out. This is Hobby Time Sparkle. I don't know who does Hobby Time. It's a knitting yarn. You can crochet with it. The colour is 999 and now because I've got my camera over here, the colour is 999. I'll try. That should be fine. So here we go. I'm forgetting that my camera's over here to get this big box in. Now it's a black sparkle that is so pretty. Look at that. The colour number is 999. And it's a sparkle. And it's by Hobby Time. I think this is... It's 97% acrylic and 3% metallic yarn. So that'll be the metallic. And it's quite soft. It's really soft. 
that is how much is in this bowl 50 grams in this bowl and then there's another one. Oh, there's another one i'm going to pop them down there there's another one that's there that's got lost the label <laughs> that's fine it's all together there oh, i wonder what that is so we've we'll got i'll take these out infinity premier infinity harsh <laughs> It's a 140 gram cake. Look at that. That is beautiful. The colours in that are beautiful. Now, it doesn't say who's made it other than the Infinity Hearts. Colour number 8, lot number 3, confidence and texture. It's nice and soft. It's 140 grams in it. That's 238 metres that's in this, it's 100% acrylic and it says it's made in India a lot of the time when you get it, it's made in Turkey this is really, really soft these are beautiful absolutely beautiful now that's a hundred, that's 280 grams just in these two, oh there's more down there look I'm going to pop them down there oh that's pretty knitting craft, baby brilliance that is lovely. I think I've got a couple of these, but maybe not that. I like sparkly yarn. I really do. I need to go and scrub my nails. It's really soft, this yarn. It really is. It's nice and soft. It's a cream, 100 grams. Just says cream. It's a hobby craft yarn. It's by hobby craft made in Turkey. That is beautiful, it's nice and soft. So there's one of them, that's 100 grams in that. Tells you to use a 4 millimetre hook on knitting needles. It's not got the equivalent. And there's another one. So that's two of those, that's beautiful. Oh, this is lovely. This is so soft. This is crafty. This is Aldi's yarn, that is beautiful. I missed the last Aldi yarn sale uh, I didn't have any birthday money or anything left there's a hundred grams in this because I got this new camera with the the birthday money that I got from my family and my daughter she gave me yarn but um, I didn't I didn't go to the the Aldi one when they were doing their last lot of yarn this is a four millimeter 100% acrylic and it's just white it's beautiful it's nice and soft it's I always seem to miss it when they do the nice double knitting yarn I'm going to pop that there there's two of those brilliant going to come in handy for making some baby items and look at all these goodies is this a little note yeah we'll find out who it's from it's from Barbara <laughs> So it's from Barbara Moss and she said that in the letter she said that she's made this and she's put like shrink wrap inside it and I think it's too nice to have to melt it to rub up. So Barbara I'm going to pin that on my wall. I'm going to pin it. I've got a wall over there and I've, it's a it, it's got nothing on it so I'm going to start pinning little items and cards and things on it so that's what I'm going to do with that and I hope you don't mind that I don't give it to Motley because I think it's lovely and I'm going to pin them to the wall I think I've got some googly eyes I think I might stick a googly eye on them now um, let's have a little look there's some more of this sparkly glitter now she did say that some of the items in here were on mums and that is a crochet hooks I love oh Harry Potter oh why it really made me think of my mortality I think now that I've hit 60 I don't know if anybody else has gone through that when they've hit 60 that I just feel as if I feel as if I'm old <laughs> I won't in a few days I won't in a few days I'll probably forget all about it <laughs> oh this is pretty I'm just talking about a wall as well <gasps> look at that that is a it's a watercolour and that is so pretty a watercolour painting by Barbara I hope, like I've wanted to, I hope you like what I've painted for you I'm keeping that on there it's got the date and everything on it 
that is a beautiful I'm going to put that on my wall I'll put it on the wall beside that little that's a proper hand done watercolour look at that absolutely brilliant I love it or you should have wrote your name down in there Barbara I'll keep that sticker on it so people in a hundred years will know who it was that did it that is beautiful I'm going to make sure my kids keep that when I'm not here here I go talking about mortality <laughs> that's going to upset my kids <laughs> they hate when you talk anything like that that is beautiful I really love that and that to me I think it's tulips it's beautiful absolutely beautiful I'm going to put that where I won't knock it over because I'm going to put it on my wall I'll pop it to the side there and Mutley's begging again right here you can have the wrapper but you're not getting any more treats you've had one <laughs> so let's go through the Harry Potter crochet I've never oh I like oh I like that little thing what's his name Dobbin Dobby Dobby yep Dobby oh yep there it says there and Dobby that is brilliant I've never tried doing these little people type things but I'm going to give that a try all the I take it all the characters are in there Joe you know, I like that Joe you know, I might try that for my grand my coming granddaughter my granddaughter is due my very first grandchild is is due in in February I'm trying not to cough here in February and I think I'll try that in a pink yarn now you get yarn in there and that's the crochet book with all the patterns that's brilliant absolutely brilliant that's a smash thing oh look at all these things <gasps> oh look oh that's a weight oh there's pennies for your daughter a few victorian coins and a doll <gasps> oh amy look it's got its arms attached Oh, I'm going to make sure my daughter gets this because my daughter and my sister Sandra these are the things that when my daughter goes to the Victorian dumps look at this it's got its little legs and its little arms look at that Amy it's got its arms in there <laughs> usually we find the bodies and I don't know this one's going to be classed as a charlotte i don't think so because it's jointed there's ones that used to get in christmas crackers that are that are smaller look at that amy that is brilliant she's got these little boxes that she puts them in i did a video on those display boxes i'm going to carefully pop that there and there's some victorian coins as well now that we've got king instead of a queen we're going to get a whole load of new coins <gasps> oh i remember doing that oh that's called a bun that's called a victoria bun head because it's the one of the very beginning coins from queen victoria when she was really young and wore that bun 1875 look at that 1875 i hope it's not been a precious one and so much <laughs> <laughs> that is brilliant I'm going to pop that there a thruppin' a bit oh I remember a thruppin's this is a three pence this is the equivalent of three pennies 1943 and it's got King George on it that is Queen Elizabeth's the Queen that's just passed away that I'm sure that's her father that's on there and another Victoria one I can't see what the date is. I can't see. Amy will be able to see it. Oh, it's a King George. That's not Victoria. That is the king that came after Victoria. That's Victoria's oldest son. Wow, I don't think she's got any of them. She might have, but I don't own a penny. That's a today's penny. I'll put that in my piggy bank and a little silver thruppen no this is a, a sixpence a sixpence sixpence so this is worth six of these two of these 
So that's three pence, that's six pence. Now, you've got a penny. This is a penny. So this penny, not with a hole in it, let's go with this one. So that penny, three of those pennies, three of those pennies made a threepence, one of these. And two of those threepences, or six of those pennies, made that sixpence. There's another, that's a later one. I think this might be the one, the one that abdicated, is it? Or is it our Queen's father? The King's grandfather. I think the other one's the King's grand, great-grandfather, if you work it that way. Wow, she's going to love them. And a half pence. A half a pence is two, is two half pennies make one of those. <laughs> Try to remember my pre-decimal. Look at that. This goes back to the date when they used to make the jewellery out of pennies. This one's thicker. This might be a copper one. It's got Britannia on it and I think it's... Is it 18 something? Oh, it must be a 19 something, 30 something. I'll get my little, I've got a magnifying glass. Well, that's Queen Victoria when she's got longer hair. She's got, I think that's after the death of her husband, because I think that's like a black veil that she's got on. Or it may be from a different country, it needs a little clean. Amy can do that. Oh, we'll have to get her to clean that up. And I might show you that in the next video, if we give that. What you do to clean them is you actually put them in some brown sauce. And I think it's the, the vinegar that's in it. But don't leave it too long because you don't want it to eat it away. The date's in there somewhere. This might be from a different country. I don't know. I think it's Gibraltar. Might not be. We'll find out. There's another half penny. And another penny from 1940-something, I think. It's the Queen's... The King's grandfather ever knew King Charles the third and that's his grandfather on there. I'm sure that who's on that. So that'll be a nineteen something, nineteen forty four I think. But hey ho oh, brilliant she's going to absolutely love this Barbara. So I'm gonna pop that back in the bag very carefully these little terracotta or clay dollies. I'll put the pennies back in to make sure that she gets those pennies. I think she's got a little bracelet made with silver threepennies that she's had for a long time, my daughter. I'm going to pop them there, keep them safe. We'll have a look. Oh, what's this? Well, this is more intriguing. I'm at least come because I said, what's this? A little box. Let's have a look. <gasps> oh, just for fun. The Queen of YouTube crochet. <gasps> look at that. That is beautiful. <gasps> Do you know what? I was watching a, parla a parliament thing. And I think it was the Scottish parliament. And the lady that was sitting behind and Nicola Sturgeon had something like this on. Look at that. That is absolutely beautiful. It's a big brooch. I'm going to pop that up beside that little dog. That is beautiful. Look at that. If I get to keep it, I think if my daughter sees it, she'll be think, I'll have that. She loves bling. She loves things like this. It's beautiful. It's like it's got Austrian crystal on it. I think it wasn't a big bunch of diamonds. <laughs> that is beautiful. Now, I'm going to put that back on there 
and I'll put that in my little safe place my accumulation of things now there's some bows here, little bows beautiful little mini bow clips but then they can, if I don't use them on my little blankets and things I can keep them for my granddaughter um, Amy is definitely having a baby girl and let's have a look oh I think I want to get into all of that we'll have a look at this yarn first this is an Aldi yarn cake now I had some Aldi yarn cakes and they were in it was lemon and grey and I started making a blanket because I was so sure I had more than one and then when I went to get another bowl I didn't I didn't have another one <laughs> so I've got a blanket sitting somewhere I think it's in that bundle that I'd showed you that um, it's it's only like not even a quarter done because all I've got a few of these ones the other ones I've got are all purple and peach and I actually did think there may be somewhere and it's maybe a bag or it's in the cupboard that I've got my chair beside and I was so positive when you're so positive that you think this one's called Daisy you're so positive that you've you had more than than what you thought you had so this is an Aldi brand and I think this is a 200 gram it's a 200 grams it's a hundred percent it's 80 percent acrylic and 20 percent wool now a lot of people tell me or sometimes they send them to me they don't like this they don't like the feel of it but once you've made something and you wash it put a tiny amount of fabric softener in with it to help that wool content and this will be really soft now there's this one and this one now I'll have a look through my other odd ones to see if I've got ones the same if not I can put them together Motley needs a nice warm blanket especially now that we're not putting the heating on as much this one is called Nocturne Nocturne? Nocturne? Nocturne as in night time 200 grams I'm going, that's really nice it's the same 20% wool content I'm going to pop them down there what have you done? you lost your ball where's your ball? When you got it in your mouth he's waiting on a bag or something now in this bag let's have a look we'll keep that wrapped up just now oh, it's like Christmas time isn't it oh birthday oh oh look at these I love these and I've lost I've got a purple set of these and they're somewhere they're somewhere I actually think they're falling down I got myself another sofa it's not a new sofa it's a second hand sofa it's like a recliner and I think that's where my other scissors like this have gone these are great you just press them and it cuts your yarn fantastic I'm going to leave them out because I actually want to take them downstairs with me I'll leave them there there is some little knitting needle not sewing needles they're little darning needles always handy another lovely little pair of scissors I'm going on holiday soon so that's why I've been saving up some of my birthday money as well I'm going on holiday but the dollar rate is so bad and I'm going to see I'm going to see my friend Cassandra and John look at all these crochet hooks these are lovely oh look at that one <gasps> a double sided crochet hook oh it's a pity that one's so thin these are like for doing Irish I have always thought that these ones were for doing Irish look at that, it's so so small Irish lace and I think it, I don't know if it's called tatting I'm not sure and it's the crochet that you see that all the old fashioned oilies are done with are usually done with, it's like a thin string oh look at that one, I like that five and a half, these are brilliant and that's what you use all these sort of thin hooks for these are brilliant I like that one, I like the feel of that one these are brilliant Barbara I don't always use something as small as this 
But do you know what it is good for? These, these little things are good for poking holes in zips. I've been doing some crochet around zips. I've got a zip here. I'll show you what I've been doing. I'm going to pop these down here. So I've been making a little bag with a zip. I've got a longer zip. I've got a couple of other zips that Sandra gave me, my Sandra. And I've got a longer one because I wanted to make a crochet bag that had a zip on the top. And I thought, how do you crochet it through a zip? And I was using a darning needle. And what you do first, I'm going to do a video on this. I'll do a video on this. What I did with it was I used a sharp, this is a crochet hook, but I don't think I would ever use it as a crochet hook because it's just so, so thin. It's for crocheting with wire or with thread. And do you know what? Look how cool that is to make a decent hole. And then what you'll do is you push that through. It should catch your wool. And then let's catch a little piece of this. You catch your wool. Might not pull it through. It might be too thick. Oh, there we go. And you pull it through and you do your crochet. I'll pull that back. So that's perfect. <laughs> that's perfect, Barbara, for... I'm going to put that with that. I'm going to put that with that and wrap it. There is another one that's thinner. I think it's slightly bigger. Might be the same. A 0.75. That's a 0.6 millimetre. 75 millimeter that's six no point what, what's bigger 75 or six i'm going to put the two of them together and i'm going to keep them in there together put them back on my little bundle i've got a a, a, a big a shelf <laughs> full of all my little ideas they are brilliant there's another one of those ones that's a 1.2, so that might, I'm going to put that with it as well, because that might pull my yarn through better. This little hook, and it's good for putting through the zips or material. I'm going to pop that in. So we'll have a look at this. I've just had to try and get Molly out my way. He's trying to climb up here, because he knows that there's streets. There's a little tin. What does that say? <gasps> a tape measure and a tin! Oh, and another little one of those hooks. Well, oh, that's even smaller. Look at that. That's a 0.9 millimetre crochet hook. And look at that. It is so small. I'll put that in beside my other ones. Because they are perfect. Oh, there's a little, sweet notions, a little set of buttons. I've been making little bags as well. So, this is handy. This can go in my suitcase oh ho, ho. that is brilliant fantastic i'm going to pop that to the side as well because i want to put that into my sort of suitcase i've got like a, a bag for putting my laptop in oh what's this oh victorian crochet hooks look at these these can go in with my other ones in my little display box these these are old mm. these are old so are these a lot of the time you can't tell how old these ones are these metal ones are steel now some of them you can tell by the size guide on it made in england a number six if it's got millimeters some of them have the door and that's a US one. Oh, that's cool. A US 7, a 4.5 millimeter. These are brilliant. I'm going to see if it's... I'm going to pop them. I like the... Oh, what was that? What happened there? Oh, if I broke it. I'm going to... I'll set them there because I want to keep them apart. These are like the ones that my mother used and my grandmother. Oh, look at this. Oh, 
my goodness. Wow, I think these are weaving needles. I think these are for weaving. You put your wool through there and then you shove it through your weaving and you pull it. Sadly that side's open, I don't know if it's meant to be, or maybe it is meant to be, but you can put your yarn in there and then when you're doing your weaving, so let's say we're using this box and we've got lengths of yarn running up and down there and this goes in and out and in and out and in and out and you pull it through and then you go back in and out, out and in, out and in, out and in, out and in for a weaving. I am sure this is what these, look how old that is. Oh, it tells you there, look. Just move that up there. Hall Halifax, established in 1880, 1836. Mm. Wow. I need to put them there. My goodness, I've never been given anything like this. Oh, there's another part of it. It says Bobbins, Baldwins and Walker. Knitting wool spinners. Knitting wool spinners. Oh, somebody might be able to tell me what, what I can Google it. Look at this. Look at that really old steel needle. Look at that. That's a double sided one as well. Look like a darning. I wonder if, if you put your wool in it and spin twist it and it spins and then there's these little sticks they look a little bit like cocktail sticks but they're not they're plastic or bone look how thin they are my goodness I'm going to pop them back in there do you know I think I should put it in my display opened like this I'll take the elastic bands off I think I'll put it in my display with it like that. I'm going to display that one. I'll need to take a picture of my display once I've got it all set up. I'll pop them back in there. Amazing, amazing. I have never been given anything like that. That is absolutely amazing. Now, I think my daughter will be pilfering that. She doesn't pilfer it. <laughs> She's got a whole collectible thing going on and I'm going to put that on there. So does my sister Sandra. Sandra collects a lot of old like coins and doll heads and things that she finds on the beach. Things that she's dug up in her garden as well from that little small holding that she lives on. I'll pop them there. I'm going to pop them to the side. Put that to the other side, out of the way. There is bamboo knitter's pins. Hmm. Come in handy for something. Little bamboo pins. I'll find a use for them. Oh, do you know what they'll be good for? There's one, two, three, four, five. There's ten. Now, if you want to block a granny square, now what you'll do with, let's just pretend, let me get a piece of my work out. Now what you do when you want to block something, I'm going to put the lid on the box just now and show you what you do, what blocking means. Now if you've made something and you want it nice and square, let's pretend this is a granny square. This is my little pattern I've been doing. It's a scarf. I've been making some scarves for Christmas. Still got the fringe to put on that one. Now what you'll do is you would take, have a, a sort of, maybe like a thick layer of cardboard or you can use polystyrene and then you'll make this damp, you'll spray it and so that your garment's a little bit damp 
and then you take your pins mm. and you take your pin and you stick it through the corner and then stick it down through your bottom part and then you'll just pin it along and pin it out so it's all nice and square and and shape in the right shape that you want it to be in and then you leave it to dry that's what blocking is I'll need to do that and show you how to do that as well I'm going to put that to the side there and I'm going to put that those little pins in my other side for for doing little videos and that will remind me to do one on blocking now oops and oh look at these oh that's pretty oh I'm making a little blanket for Amy they'll be pretty on it and a little hat I can put that on it I'm going to put them somewhere that I'll remember where they are I'll put them down there because uh, look at these I'm, I'm going to put them in the drawer look at these wooden buttons these are brilliant very crafty little wooden buttons or beads I think they're buttons look oh look at the little rabbit that is so cute so cute but you know something you could these could be used for a mobile or something when I go up to Sandra's in a couple of weeks I'm going to take them with me so I'll pop them there and there's some ribbons in here this bag's got ribbons look at these are beautiful that's so soft that is beautiful there's 10 meters in there 10 millimeter and 10 meters these I love those colors look at those colors that is pretty what else am I doing that's sort of shades of green like that it's downstairs I've got another little project on the go now this is just various ribbons these are lovely nice and Christmassy aren't they oh get a project going with them where I need some ribbon I'm going to put these little buttons and that back in there so I know where they are I don't pop them down there now there's some wrapping paper and a little card oh it's birthday <laughs> it's happy birthday look it's got birthday on it she sent me some birthday gifts oh right well i'll open the card first oh she's made this one herself mm. hand painted by barbara oh my goodness that is so pretty look at that mm -hmm. that is beautiful I've always wanted to be able to paint let me read the message wishing you a very happy birthday and all my love from Barbara that is beautiful I like that mm -hmm. that's beautiful do you know with that and the other one with those other flowers I would like a nice big hand painted watercolour picture of that they are beautiful look and they are hand painted amazing what a skill Barbara I'm going to put that aside because there's other stuff there I'm going to open these woohoo got some birthday things oh a set of crochet hooks oh these are nice ones these are called Hawaii the company is Hawaii do you know I think it's those thing ones where the flat here the flat here so what they are they're like the Susan Bates they're like the Susan Bates ones because when you use these I've not tried them yet I've got oh I need to try these these are fantastic they're nice and oh they're nice and comfortable now when you use this type I can't remember what it is that they call it but it's cut in and it's flat and what they tell you is that your stitch stays the same now if you use one of these you can see that the neck 
goes in quite thin here and then the shaft gets bigger. Well this one, it is the same woods around the back so it keeps your stitches more uniform. A lot of people like using these. I've not tried them yet but I'm going to. I'm going to try them. There's a whole set there. Thank you so much for that. Barbara, that is brilliant. I'm going to pop that back in the bag and I'm going to put them on my little to-do bundle over here. I think I'll do that today, later on today. I've got a new project to start and I think I'll try these with that to see. Use a hook like this and do a sample and then use the hook like this one. Now they're not Susan Bates's ones but there is a lot of other brands that do this. I just can't remember what it's called. This is... It's got a name, the way they cut into that. I'll need to try and have a look and find out. My friend Liz will tell me. I'm going to pop them aside. That is amazing. This is fantastic. Hoo -hoo. Now, we'll open this. Oh, oh, oh nice, eau de parfum, I worked in Boots Pharmacy for a long time and I know that parfum is stronger than perfume, you only need a little bit and it lasts much longer, look at that, now I'll find out what they are, blush peony, white, something that one and that one is gardenia blossom brilliant great size for sticking in your bag when you're out and about that is brilliant i'm going to pop that down there and there's this bigger one oh what's this squishy and soft oh just rip it oh my goodness sweet baby bat it that is brilliant. I'm going to give that wrapper to Oops. <laughs> I'll give that wrapper to Mutley. Look at that. That is so pretty. I need, do you know what? I've got a pattern downstairs for an adult cardigan. One, two, three, four, five hundred grams. The, do you know, I think it will do that cardigan. I think I'll make myself. That is brilliant, beautiful. Now this is a multicolour sweet baby, Madame Trico Paris. You can feel through there. It is so soft. That is a beautiful colour. It's a hundred grams, a hundred percent acrylic, and that's the way it works up like that. Made in Turkey, hundred percent acrylic. 394 yards, that's 360 metres and 100 grams in each ball. That is beautiful. Now, the colour on it is 334. That is so pretty. I've never seen that brand before, but it's so pretty. Absolutely beautiful. I'll be finding something to make with it. Like I said, I found a very basic cardigan pattern. And um, I don't know if that'll be enough or not. That's it's 500 grams. I need to look at my pattern and see if that's about the amount it was. I think it might have been about four, because it's quite an open pattern, so you, it doesn't use a lot of yarn. That is brilliant, Barbara. Thank you so so much. And I love that wrapping paper. I'm going to pop that back in there, just to keep it out of Mutley's way. Beautiful. There's another white one. Pop them in there. I'm going to make a scarf. I've been trying different patterns and things from some of the really old vintage patterns that I have. Now a lot of the old vintage patterns are done in two and three ply. That's quite a thin yarn. So it's it's a little bit a little bit more um working out because that's a thin yarn and using like a thicker yarn all it is half a time is you just need to go up if you use thicker yarn go up a size crochet hook 
with it and it works out. I'm going to pop them in there. I'm not going to pop the little doggy in because I want to put him on my wall and I'll sort everything else out that I want to put in for going away on holiday. Thank you so, so much, Barbara. Thank you to everyone for watching as well. Thank you so much for all the birthday wishes as well. I haven't got around to a lot of the comments lately because I haven't been well. And sometimes there's just uh, there's just so many comments as well. I do read them. I do read them and I put a little heart on it when I've read it. But thank you so, so much for this, Barbara. The birthday gifts are amazing. I mean, and I love that that brooch the little doll and the coins is brilliant that you've gave me them for my daughter my daughter will keep those she really will and you did put on the note that some of the things belong to your mother and i i will treasure them i really will i'm going to put those little that little leather box packet thing into a display and put it up on my wall with some of those old hooks that you gave me because they are vintage crochet hooks and I love anything that's vintage and crochet. So thank you once again Barbara, amazing, amazing, thank you so so much, I really do appreciate it and the treats and the sweets and all your other little goodies you've gave me and I will try those hooks as well, brilliant and Muttley's at me again to get <laughs> So anyway, thank you so, so much. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, please just click on the subscribe button. It's only a minute or two to subscribe. It's completely free as well. And if you click on that bell icon, then YouTube will tell you when I put up another tutorial. So until the next time, happy crafting, and I'll see you all again soon. Goodbye.